The Cyclops. One-eyed, dim-witted, giant shepherd trolls who feast on man and mutton alike. We've pretty much all heard of them from classic Greek mythology, or maybe you're one of those Percy Jackson fans who thinks Tyson is the very best like no one ever was. In Homer's The Odyssey, we meet the monstrous Polyphemus and his fellow Cyclopes. Yes, plural is Cyclopes. While in Hesiod's Theogony, the Cyclopes are exclusively described as three brothers born alongside the Titans of old. Today I will touch on a brief summary of both the Homeric and Hesiodic depictions of this creature, followed by my own interpretation of how I would go about defeating one myself. We first begin with the tale of Polyphemus. The story goes as follows. Odysseus and his men sailed to a mysterious island during their journey home from the Trojan War, and together with some of his crew, enter a cave filled with provisions. When the giant Polyphemus returns home with his flocks, he blocks the entrance with a great stone, and almost immediately eats two of Odysseus' men. The next morning, he kills and eats two more, and leaves the cave to tend to his sheep. After the giant returns in the evening and eats another two men, Odysseus offers Polyphemus some strong wine given to him earlier on his adventure. Drunk and off guard, the giant asks Odysseus his name, promising him a gift if he answers. Odysseus tells him nobody, and Polyphemus promises to eat this nobody last of all. With that, he falls into a drunken sleep. Odysseus then prepares a wooden stake and thrusts it into Polyphemus' eye. When Polyphemus awakes and cries for help from his fellow Cyclopes, saying that nobody has hurt him, they think Polyphemus has been afflicted by some divine power and recommend prayer as the answer to his suffering. The following morning, the now blinded Cyclops lets his sheep out to graze, feeling their backs to check if the men are escaping. Of course, Odysseus and his men have tied themselves to the undersides of the sheep and eventually make it back to their boats. As he sails off with his men, Odysseus foolishly reveals his real name, an act of hubris with severe consequences for him later. Polyphemus prays to his father, Poseidon in this case, to curse Odysseus and tosses a huge boulder at Odysseus' ship, which he narrowly escapes. What's interesting to note here is that the Cyclops did not adhere to Greek customs of hospitality by eating his guests upon first acquaintance. Thus, Odysseus was perhaps justified in his treatment of the giant, but regardless, Homer's The Odyssey is a more tragic and hard tale for most. Now the Hesiodic interpretation differs greatly as previously mentioned, in that the Cyclopes are not an entire race, but instead simply three brothers. In the beginning, Gaia and Oranos, the ancient Greek primordial deities who preceded all before, conceived the Titans and several other creatures including the three Cyclopean brothers, Brontes, Sterapes, and Arges. No judgment on the names. There was also the Hundred-Handed Ones, but we'll talk about those some other time, perhaps. Now, Oranos thought some of his kids looked kind of gross, so he locked them up inside of Gaia so he wouldn't have to deal with them. Eventually, under the guidance of his mother, the Titan Kronos, the Chad of his time, betrayed his father by chopping off his pieces, becoming the new ruler of the cosmos, freeing his freakish siblings, and beginning a golden age. He then mated with his sister Rhea, giving birth to the Greek gods and goddesses. Sensing betrayal, Kronos made sure to devour every single one of his children as they were born until Rhea took pity on their last child, Zeus, and replaced him with a rock wrapped in cloth which Kronos swallowed whole, unaware of her deceit. Once Zeus came of age, he freed his siblings and partnered with the three Cyclopean brothers who forged his iconic lightning bolt, which he wielded alongside many allies in an event known as the Titanomachy, which spelled the end of the Titans and ushered in the age of the gods as we know them today. The Hesiodic version paints the Cyclops as three heroic and mighty craftsmen of the most powerful weapon in Greek mythos, basically their equivalent of Thor's Mjolnir. This is contrasted by Homer's sheep-herding, man-eating giants, who are as gullible as a hungry four-year-old. <laughs> Don't even get me started on the wall builders. In most modern variations, a cyclops carries more of the Homeric traits, and thus in my hypothetical encounter, I'll be using these characteristics when defining my foe. So, without further ado, 
If I were to come face to face with the Cyclops, it would go something like this. Having one eye means that the Cyclops have very poor depth perception. So upon seeing me, he'll need to get pretty close to know when to grab me and eat me. I'll stand there and just wait for him until his eye is within range, and then BAM! Pocket sand! With the Cyclops blinded, I'll pull out a bomb that I've been keeping in my back pocket like they do in Smash Bros. And like we all did to King Dodongo, I'll toss it straight into his mouth. As soon as he realizes what's happened, I'll already be walking away as he explodes from within. And that's how I defeat a Cyclops. In all seriousness, if I've learned anything from watching Attack on Titan, it's that I wouldn't stand a chance against a giant creature of just about any sort. Regardless, I hope you've all learned something new that you didn't know before. The Cyclops is such a popular creature we've seen time and time again, but I know not a lot of people really know where it comes from or the origins of it. It's not the most interesting creature, but I felt it was a good start. That being said, I, I want to make more videos like this. Not necessarily about Greek mythology, but really just about mythical creatures, history. Just want to educate people on kind of popular things that are misunderstood, or at least not known enough about. So, if you learned something new, like the video, subscribe for more content like this, and leave a comment on the next creature or mythology that you want me to cover next. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, <laughs> hey.